Small town chick from the West Side Project. Always been that chick. Small town chick from the West Side Project. Always been this thick. Small town chick from the West Side Project. Coming up in the bricks. Good morning, y'all. How y'all living? How y'all been? I miss y'all. I know y'all miss me too. And welcome back to my channel. Okay. So today is what's today? Saturday. And it is New Year's Eve. So I'm about to get the house together, get ready for the New Year's. I gotta go to the store. I'm sitting here, I'm making me a list of everything that I need from the store. I'm about to cook some steak and potatoes and probably some broccoli or something um today and then so i gotta go to the store i already got the steak i just seasoned it so i'm letting it marinate and then i gotta get my um i, I got the potatoes too and y'all know i i always cook steak and potatoes because my man loves steak and potatoes baby okay because this what he want this what he gets period all right i always feel like i'm getting a cold but so i got the celery salt uh, I mean, I need some celery salt. I need some more stuff because I'm cooking tomorrow's New Year's. So, I'm cooking cabbage, black eyed peas, turkey wings with gravy, rice, uh, um, banana pudding. What else I'm cooking? And some, I'm probably cooking some gumbo. It's my boyfriend wants some gumbo. Yeah, I do not know how to cook gumbo, but... He want it, and I'm going to try it every time until I eat it right, okay? I'm going to try to cook it every time until I get it right. So, once I get it right, then you ain't better tell me nothing, but I'm going to try different methods until I get it right. Because I don't, I like to get it right, okay? Um, what else? What else I got to do? I don't think I have to do anything else, but I need to go and get me some more containers for some clothes and some shoes because y'all we literally have too many clothes too many shoes i can't wait till we move into a bigger place because i literally have too many i had to get a new rack to put clothes on because my closet is so full with clothes so full with shoes i had to get another rack to put uh, clothes on and i will be redoing my room redecorating my room today too um throwing away these old sheets and covers and throwing them away and we in with the new in with the new new so we're gonna do that um i plan to spend 30 minutes on each room to get my house together for the new years um so this is what i plan to do today and i want to um I left. I left something. I left something. I gotta put these socks together. I'm about to see here and I'm about to make my lease on what all I need from the store. I know I need these gray containers. I know I need that. Um, I know I need the gray containers from Walmart. Uh, Cause I forget everything I need once I get there. So how y'all been? How y'all been doing? How was y'all uh Christmas? How was y'all Christmas? My Christmas was okay. It wasn't the best, but it was okay. It would do. But it could have been better. It could have been better. So how was y'all Christmas? Um also my vlogmas did not go as planned. <laughs> yeah. My vlogmas did not go as planned. Y'all, I had so much stuff I wanted to do and I really should have started before, but I mean, this is my first year doing this, so I really did not know. But next year, if the Lord say the same, I will, I will do 30 days. I, not 30 days, but maybe 
maybe 24 days from or with 25 days from December 1st to the to Christmas I will I will try y'all I had the gingerbread houses we didn't decorate the gingerbread house I had the gingerbread cookies I had all kind of prank stuff I want to play with the um up on the shelf I do none of that like I didn't have time because every weekend I was going somewhere and I was traveling most of the time uh during December so I mean I went to what uh Tennessee in December I went to San Antonio um well, in San Antonio was a drive. That's what burnt me out. Like, after that day I left from San Antonio, that burnt me out. Do you hear me? That burnt me out. So, it's kind of like, mm -mm, I don't got time for these. I need some rest. I need to take a break. Okay. So, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm jumping right back into it. Let's go. <laughs> back like I never left. What's up? Who going to pop me? Okay, so yeah, and I'm still writing my list, still getting myself together, because when I go to the store, I need to make sure I have everything I need, because I'll go in that store and get pick up the sheet, I ain't doing it today, I need to make sure, I'm on a, I don't got much time, I got a short time span to get everything done, okay, yeah, um, I want to go to get another tick too, because I want to kind of fill in more of my own stuff, yeah, because I'm going to be tight bad. <laughs> Alright, but anyway, back to this list. Y'all leave me alone. Alright, so let's get our day started. I think first I want to uh, go ahead and get my room straight some before I leave. And I'm going to set a timer because I only want to spend at least 30 minutes in one room. I'm not about to be cleaning up all day. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. So I'm going to spend at least 30, 30 minutes in each room. I'm trying to get these rooms together. Bring it in my new years. I'm gonna enjoy myself and I'm not finna enjoy it. Cleaning up all day. I'm not finna do it. Okay. Fold up all these socks. I gotta get all these socks together. Cause I don't know what none of the matches it. But if I ain't got a match, they finna go in the trash because I bought like six new pick socks. I'm not got I don't have time for that. Okay. Alright. So I'll be back. Hey y'all, so we about to go to the store so I can get all my stuff. Hopefully this on my list. Um, hopefully they got, I just hope they got these containers I've been looking for. I done went to like four, five different Walmart. And now I don't have these containers, so I should have bought them when I saw them. So we about to, it's a really pretty day. Feel good outside. Feel really good. I ain't gonna feel this good outside. And I got these long sleeve on. But it feel really good outside. And then I'm gonna finish cleaning up. Hey y'all, so we're at Starbucks. About to get these monkeys something from Where my cake from? You ain't gonna tell you what it is. 
Go exit for a moment. Hey y'all, so we about to like, eat ready for New Year's, my New Year's dinner tomorrow. I'm cooking cabbage, black eyed peas, turkey wings. I told all y'all that already. Uh -huh. So I'm about to season my turkey wings so they could be already done. I'm about to cook my turkey wings so they could already be, be marinating. All right, so let me get to seasoning these turkey wings. So I got to measure it. Make sure the water in the mouth. We need a tablespoon of onion powder. Hush! About yourself. Get in this mud plucker. She, I need to go. Crazy on your way. Um, Cajun. Oh. Need some poultry season. What a poultry season at? What? Poultry season. We need two tablespoons of poultry season. I don't want to focus. Two tablespoons of this. One, two, one tablespoon of paprika. Paprika. Where the paprika at? Paprika. Tablespoon of paprika. Oh shit! I put too much. Paprika. Really. Yep, 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 yep. What is wrong with this camera? I don't want to fork this paprika. Exactly, not on that rug. You work a half a teaspoon of celery salt. Got a new celery salt. Hey, what is wrong with this camera? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Celery salt. Some accent, tablespoon of accent. I need to get some more accent because baby, we about to be out. Tablespoon of accent. Uh, what else we need? Oh, some Cajun seasoning. Cajun and seasoning. Cajun seasoning. Two tablespoons of Cajun seasoning. Cajun seasoning. Some garlic powder. Garlic powder. Tablespoon of that. Garlic powder. All right, so we got everything in the cup. We're gonna swish it on around, swish it on around. Make sure it's good and mixed up. That's so your seasoning can go on evenly. All right, sir. Just gonna spread it on here.
Não é sal que foram. Hey y'all! So today is New Year's. I got my drink pulled up already. Yes, baby. I've been on it since I woke up. Uh, I'm drinking on some amaretto and some pineapple juice. And I'm finna put a shot of Gun Julio in there. Um. And we about to eat. I already cooked. I got some turkey wings. Got the turkey wings, the gravy. Got my rice in the bowl. My black eyed peas. Um, <laughs> my greens. They need to cook a little more. I need to cook some of that juice off in my cornbread. Get out the way, girl. Get out the way. Out the way. And I cooked some banana pussy. You know, <laughs> it's giving. It really is. It really is giving. I'm finna fix the food. I'm finna fix the I ain't gonna eat but a little bit, y'all, because I don't really eat these, but I know what they say about the New Year's resolution about the cabbage and the black eyed peas. So, I just started eating cabbage and black eyed peas or cooking it maybe four years ago when I moved to Louisiana and when I got my own house well when I, I had my own house before that but when I moved down here and I had to start cooking when my grandma died so after my grandma died uh, about four years ago that's when I started really cooking she how long more maybe two years maybe three but when I moved on when I moved on plank I, I cooked my own New Year's meal. So yeah, I had started cooking my own food. But, well, we need some plates, boo. Wait, in 2019? You wanna take away? Let me taste it in here. Good, it's not gonna be no thorn. Good, taste that too. That's good. I ain't tasted them. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. I'm gonna cook. Stop playing with me. Hey y'all, so we ate the meal shop. Tomorrow is my girl's birthday. Thought she wanted to get her nails done. And we got my girl, Unis. Unis, hey. We got my girl, my girl, Unis, with us today. What are you doing? What are you doing? She's vlogging. My She's vlogging. You know how people do YouTube videos and talk about their lives and stuff? That's what she's doing. My stuff be nosy. Yeah. Why your business? I went by that. Oh, Amazon. Amazon or anything, So you can, the people that do the YouTube, they hold that thing, right? Right, yeah. How much you pay for that? It was almost $100 for this one. Oh. Yeah, I got a big one too, but I mostly carry this around when I, you know, be out and about. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. 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 Oh my goodness, you want to be part of her oh, vlog? Yeah. And then you can put it down. Oh, but I nice. mostly have it up so I can kind of see. Wait, nice. ah. This 
you look like Minnie Nail. <laughs> Two thousand years later. Hey y'all, how y'all living today? How y'all doing? So y'all, who shot your girl is so tired? Out of breath, y'all. This goddamn waist train I got on. I pulled this mug out the closet. I ain't worn it in so long. Y'all, this waist train got my titties to my throat. Do y'all see this? I, my back is sitting straight up. I got to sit straight up to dry. Whew. The girl is out of breath. The girl is tired. Just went worked out. Got that workout in. Y'all about to start me working out. About the meal prep. I gotta suck it in, baby. All this poking out. Ooh, child. Ooh. We got a lot of work to do. All right, child. So, if y'all new to my channel, welcome, 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 welcome. I'm glad to have you here. I'm glad to you here with your girl. Peace. Ooh, y'all. I am tired. But. Y'all, I like to go to the gym to use the machines and stuff, but I don't really like, I use the stairs today. I use the stairs and I did other machines. So I did the stairs first when I got there for 15 minutes and then I did other machines, but I'm actually on the way home. So I'm gonna go and do, um, I'm gonna go do, I'm gonna go walking when I get home. Cause I don't like I don't like treading me. I don't like it. Y'all look up. Baby, this race trainer got these bum bums to the roof. Who child? I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, like uh, y'all, so let me tell y'all what's been going on. So my Jeep is still in the shop. Unfortunately. My Jeep is still in the shop. Um I did call and check on it yesterday and they said that it'll be another three to four weeks before I even get my truck. Like what is what what the woods? Like I really wish they would have just told that mug out. I, I couldn't have me a new G by now because I do want that Rubicon. I couldn't have me a new G by now. But no, they don't want to total weed out. So they got me waiting. And unfortunately, the person that hit me did not have insurance. So, I got to go through my own insurance. And the crazy part is about it, that my my um rental coverage on my my um my uh, policy is only for 30 days. So, after the 30 days, I had to start paying for the rental, which is crazy. But if the person who would have had insurance who hit me in the back would have had insurance, I would have had a rental for the whole time while I had, you know, while my truck was in the shop. But it is what it is. Everything happened for a reason. I mean, it is what it is at this point. There's nothing else I could do about it. So I had to take the other rental back because it was on the, the contract that was towards the, the the insurance so i had to take that run up back because the contract was up so i'm really glad i had to take it back because let me show you how the law work let me show you how the law work in mysterious ways so instead of them calling and telling me like hey we do have a way you could get a cheaper rate they didn't do that so i found out that so i called and i'm you know Doing my doing my little run, doing my doo doo, doing my uh, you know, had to go on my run because I'm cutting up because of the fact that that's not right. As long as my truck is in the damn shop, y'all should be able to um give me a rental or pay for the rental because that's not right. That's not fair. So I talked to a lady and she was like, I'm gonna give you this number and you need to call this number and they could probably it's for like it's a number you call or uh, when like say for instance if you got um in my case where they stopped paying for my rental and it was actually the 45 dollars a day where i could go and get a a cheaper rate or whatever so they gave me this 1-800 number i call this 1-800 number y'all 
So when this company gave me this number and they told me to call y'all to see about uh, getting another rental because of what's going on. You know, I was hit, my rental coverage and ran out. So to try to give me a cheaper rate, what can y'all do? So the man was like, okay, of course we can help you out. So he was like, the cheapest I have and the cheapest we could do is $24 a day. truck no i'm still paying insurance i'm still paying all this on a truck that i ain't even got so baby i can't keep paying no 45 dollars a day for no rental so he put me in, in, in contact with him so guess what 24 dollars a day let's go okay don't play with me because guess what I'm, I'm i'm i like a good bargain i like a good bargain i like you know i like to save a little change i like to spend money too but she, if I can save, I'm going to save. I like to save too, baby. If y'all ever in an accident and y'all rental coverage run out or you don't have rental coverage on your policy, they do have a number they can give you to get cheaper rates. Yes. They just be wanting us to spend all our money. But they do have, um, you know, ways you can get cheaper rates. Free samples. I got some free samples. I like free shit, but I don't. I don't like coffee. I ain't going over there. I don't like coffee. I don't even drink. Uh, what them things is y'all be drinking? Them um, them um, frappes. I don't even like this shit. So yeah, I'm on my way home, and I'm about to um probably go for a walk. I'm gonna probably do um a couple miles. I ain't gonna do so much cause. I usually do like four or five miles, but I probably just do like one or two because I already went to the gym, worked out. I ain't trying to overdo it. I ain't trying to burn myself out before I get back into it. And I also want to share with y'all on this video, um, I'm going to show y'all when I get home. Um, I, been, I had experienced some hair loss, so I'm going to show y'all what I did to snap my hair back and it really works and i've been using the um the cardi b uh method which i told y'all about that method before in a previous video the cardi b method um because my hair can get really rough and i be having so in it and when you when i use that it's really it, it, it helped me comb my hair out really build it helped me really comb my hair out really good when I use that method, um, I don't really have to use no detangler or nothing when I use that method, so it really, it, you know, it helps with the detangling and everything. All right, y'all, so I'm just making it home and, um, in the house, actually, because I actually was walking outside, so I'm just making it actually in the house, uh, from walking. All right, so I wanted to share with y'all about, oh, Lord, this hair loss. I've been having and how I grew my hair back. <laughs> What's funny? How is funny? So you don't think that's something good to talk about? Pull this like. Huh? Okay, so what what is you hand for? Exactly. Oh, I gotta take this waist trainer off, oh, child. Baby, this, these titties was to my throat. Oh. Well, guess what? You gonna hit it that day. Okay. Alright. Oh, child. Hold on. I got some shit on. I got to take off. Oh, child. I can breathe. I can breathe. I can breathe. Oh, child. I can breathe. Alright, y'all. I don't know. It might be turned off. Mine ain't pay the bill. Restart. I don't know. So, um, this is what we talk about today. Hair loss. So, for some reason, my tripod want to be stupid and don't want to stand up today. Lay. It's been doing it on here. 
something. No, it wasn't. It was doing it on here. It's standing on this thing now. All right, so. Okay, so. About a year, maybe a year or two ago, maybe, I had started experiencing hair loss. So, talked to my doctor about it. And it was kind of like, okay, well, this is my what you need to do, or this is what you need to do, or this is what you might need to stop doing, or whatever. Have you not? So, um, birth control can cause hair loss. All kind of things can cause hair loss. So, when, let you find out what? No, I said birth control can cause hair loss. So I was experiencing hair loss in the top. As you can see now, I'm kind of, I gotta, I'm finna wash my head off so I can show y'all. But let me show y'all some before pitch, before and after pictures of what I was experiencing. Lay, go watch, watch. What the fuck I'm shame of? How's that embarrassing my hair back now? So how is it embarrassing? I mean, it ain't all the way back how it need to be, but it's back some to where it needs to be. So let it paint, put this over there on the back so it can dry. So, um, Lord, I be making my, my trend, like I be making them so shameless on like, this is me, this is real. This is raw and uncut, baby. Okay, so this is the secret that it ain't no secret but this is my secret to what i did to grow my hair back i'm finna show y'all some before and after pictures here lay put that over there so it can dry these are before and after pictures of what's been going on with this head so this is before 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 oh all my hair had to hang oh baby Oh no, and I wasn't stressing or nothing. Life was good. I was doing the do. I was in the streets with my heat. Huh, too. And I was living life. So, I mean, I don't think it was stress. I don't know what it was, but whatever it was. Okay, it's gone. Fuck it. So, baby, look, I had my edge of a gone. Uh uh. Get a. Or cup or something. Get something. Get some. Get some. Get some. Get some. Get Get that. So. Oh my God. I don't know what caused the hair loss. But I had it. Okay. So. Let me show y'all this before picture one more time. This is before. This is before. So shame, so shame. Okay, this is before. All right, so what I did to grow my hair back, what I did, the secret. Y'all ready? No. Da, 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 da. I use, <laughs> y'all, I'm getting this shit down pat, yeah. Okay. Me, uh, how they say? Me and I out cunty. What they say? What they say again? Rich out cunty 2023. This my you. Y'all better tap me in. <laughs> Y'all better tap me in. What you say? This is what I use. Rice water. Boom. What so, is? it's clear. I think you gotta got a white top or black top. Oh Lord, I'm cold y'all, I'm sweating. I got to turn this out. If they come turn this out, so the album come on. I'm cold. So this is what I did. Rice water. Okay. So how I make this rice water is I use the jasmine rice. That's what I use. I use jasmine rice because I don't eat regular rice. I use I eat jasmine rice now. So that's what I use. I use jasmine rice. And what I do is I get a bowl, I put it in the bowl, put some water in there. I just did this this morning. So, I'm just letting it sit. It's been sitting all day. But, what I usually do is, I let it sit like a day, or overnight, or a day or two. And I let it sit, so it could be strong. And so, all the, the minerals and everything that I need 
Stop playing with me. Girl, look what they fool about me. Goodbye. This it? Yeah, that's What's the good. Don't put that on. Give it here. That ain't put that on your hair. So. Why would I put it on my hair? Put that over the be wash. Braids. Put that over the be wash. So, and I do. What else I put in here is. Lele, go bring me them oils and stuff. I'm going to have to go get it because this monkey here. I, I'm over pay. Hold on. I'm coming right back. Let's get out of the camp. Just please erase that part. What part? Don't erase it. I ain't erasing. I ain't no, erasing yeah. nothing, baby. Raw and unmotherfucking cut, baby. They here for the red, and I'm going to give it to them. All right, so y'all. So, God. Like, please be quiet. Just please erase that part. Erase what part out? When I say Please leave me alone. He said somebody's name. Well, y'all shouldn't be here talking about people, and if you said it, they need to know. No, they don't. All right. Hush. So, in my rice water, while I eat marinating and everything, so I use um I use a half a cup of rice and then I just do a cup of wa uh, water or I just fill the water to the top either one whichever way whichever that way I'm feeling that day that's what I do I'm gonna put and and to mask the smell because this shit stink this shit smell like. A couple drops of dead in here. I got hair on me. I don't know where the hell I get hair from. She don't like nothing in here. I'm just pour all that in here because I ain't none there in here. I'm just pour all that in here. And then we're going to put some coconut oil in here. No, we're going tomorrow. More both come down. I'm going tomorrow. Coconut oil. By myself. Just put a little bit of that in there. So then doing? I put some tea tree oil huh? and put a little wild growth oil in there too. A little bit of that. Alright. And I'm going to just put some of this oil in here. I just put different kind of oils in here. The organ oil to kind of help with the smell and stuff, you know, from this here. Because they tell you to wash this so you could put it on and leave it use it as a condition like a leave-in conditioner or like a conditional whatever but what i do is i leave it on i spray my hair every morning when i don't have like wigs on so and i just get up in the morning because what i do i mean where i work ain't nobody really by me and this shit hair you stink had it be stank. So, what I use to kind of cover up the smell is pineapple growth oil. This one right here. And this helped mask the smell. It's for braids, but it's pineapple growth oil. Um, it's pineapple or uh, It smells like pineapple. But it's tropical root growth oil. So, I use this to kind of mask the smell. And it wouldn't be just stank or whatever. So, I'm going to just shake this up to kind of get the oils in there and everything together. And before, I'm going to wash my hair. So, <gasps> hell no. Your sister can do it? I, I want some professional twist. Oh, baby. I don't know how to do twists. I'm because I'm not. So, um, what I'm going to do is, so, I really don't shampoo my hair every time I wash my hair. I only just like I said wigs I need to get that wig glue off or something or if I have hair glue in my hair or if I've had like um, stop y'all LJ or if I've had like pump it up spritz or something hard 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 on my hair that's most of the time I use uh y'all just dirty up that bitch that's the only time I really use shampoo most of the time I just really condition my hair a couple times or I do uh, like I'm finna do now. I'm finna mix up the stuff, uh, the Cardi B stuff. I'm about to mix that up. What you laughing for? I'm about to mix that up and I'm gonna do that because it makes my hair feel so it don't be as tangly or as rough when I do that. Uh, it got the avocado, the banana, eggs, all that in there. I'm gonna 
dropped it down below so y'all go check out that video because i did do a video with it on there um so that's what i'm gonna do first and then i'm gonna spray my hair with the um rice water and uh condition it do me a leave-in conditioner probably and everything um but yeah so this is my growth from um when did i do this i think i started um maybe in june or july i started using this rice water and it shook me back it shook me back it shook me back i'm telling y'all y'all got them ball spots in y'all motherfucking head you better get this rice water. Mm. You bald head scaly wet. This rice water gonna work. Okay. And if you need me to mix you up some, I'll mix you up some. If you close to me, I'll mix you up some, girlfriend. So they can't mix the white rice and water? I don't know. No, they just... <laughs> I don't know what to say if they can't mix the rice and water. Yeah, so... Them the type of vibes we on for today. I'm about to wash my hair and show y'all what how I do it and how I put it on. All right. So yeah, I'll be back. Yeah. See, y'all really be thinking I'm tall when I'm really shorter than my. I thought you went today tomorrow. No. No. That's what you want to call me. So tall. Never shut up. y'all so now i'm about to just apply the carla b mask on my hair i'm gonna just start from the back applying really liquidy today because I did it really thick so I'm glad because it'll be herbal and if y'all don't mix this up really really good like if you don't have a good blender to mix this up it will like you have to wash your hair all a while because it don't be mixed up good it'll leave a lot of white stuff in your hair and you'll have to keep going back washing it and uh -huh, it just don't do right so just make sure when you mix that up you mix it up really good okay you can say that oh my poly hair here came out but i shook it back real quick So I'm just parting it off and applying the mask evenly. Evenly, okay? Make sure you get it on all your hair. I'm gonna go back and put it on the ends. Just 
to make sure I got it over here. In here real good. Cause this is where my hair came out in the top. So we're gonna make sure we got it on there really good. Cause that's why I bought it. <laughs> and I'm gonna try not to wear any wigs or weave until March. So I have to get ready to go on my vacation in March. Try to not wear any weave or wigs until then to kind of monitor the growth and um also i'm gonna be in the gym because i'm about to get back serious in the gym so i sweat a lot and i don't got time to be sweating i know her uh -huh. For a little while and then i'm gonna get um so i'm gonna get in the shower and spray the rice water spray my hair and i'm gonna let that sit for a while uh, a little more while too so while i'm letting you see i'm about to just go clean up and do something and let this sit a little while okay i mean 20 30 minutes good enough and then i'll put the rice water on and let it sit. i might just go ahead on the edit mm. And it's a really good spray bottle. I got it off Amazon. So it evenly spreads along the hair. I'm just kind of working in this song. I just finished washing so I just finished washing and these are the two conditioners that I use when I wash my hair the Tresemme um rich moisture it got vitamin E uh, and this I just use the conditioner so I just use the conditioner and I use um, this three minute more uh, miracle moist deep conditioner too it's really really good and y'all just watch how easy my hair come out my hair come out so easy look it's so easy to comb out see how easy it is to comb out the brush is just going through that's the brush versus the comb Ooh, i still got product in the comb but you, as you can see, it's easy to comb out. Easy. Easy. Baby, my hair used to be so knotty and hard to comb out. But now, watch how this brush is slide through. Slide through. And that is from the Carly B moisture stuff. So the growth is from both products. But the softness, the moisture, all it comes from the Carly B uh, method. But the um rice water work is well. It worked really, really good, as y'all can see. It worked. I got help. So I'm about to get ready to go out somewhere. See the fullness in the top. It ain't full like I want it, but it's back. Yes. Do something with my real hair. As I said, I'm not wearing, trying not to wear weave. Probably just slick my hair back like it was and put my ponytail through my edges and it's it, baby. So y'all, I'm going to just show y'all some pictures of the before and after just so you can get a better look and a better, um, to see where the growth has come. And over the short period of time that, um, I have been doing this, I just started this in july as you can see um on the top of the picture i did leave the dates on there so you can see so um this was in july um then august then then um i think i have these from november so my hair has really came a long way so this is from the rice water Hey y'all, so I'm just getting home from the store. Um, 
and I went to cut that out on over the other day. I went to a uh, workout. I just got back from working out too. Yeah, about to eat. Fan, fan. Okay. So I just want to show y'all what I'm gonna be eating this week because I'm going back on my diet. I'm back on my run. I'm about to get fine. Finest wine, baby. Yeah, so let me just show you what I got from the store. So this is my food. This I got some baked tilapia. I'm grilling me some shrimp. I got some rice to put some jasmine rice. It's jasmine rice to put in my broccoli. And then this is what I'm gonna have for the week. I got me some pickles for a snack. I got me some eggs. I got some apples, some sandwich stands, some tuna, shrimp, watermelon, kiwis, strawberry, pineapples, grapes, some Greek yogurt, and I got some oats and honey to go in there. I got the Celsius, of course, I gotta have this Celsius. I love these, y'all. Got some bacon bits for my salad, some turkey sausage. Um, unsecured bacon, broccoli and cheese, carrots, some more broccoli, some spring mix, some carrots and cauliflower and broccoli, some cheese for the go in there. So I'm about to go ahead and start my meal prep for this week because you're about to be eating white. And let's get into it, okay? Like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. 